Jambo tribe, Jambo. Many people in Africa speak the language Swahili, so a proper greeting to one another in Swahili is Jambo. So Jambo tribe, and I want you to greet others today um, in your interactions with that and explain to them what language it is, what it means, and why we do it. Um, what I want you to know, boys and girls, is our week this week um, is probably more of what our regular week will look like moving forward. And, excuse me, um, want you to know, to know that um, with each day we'll have a question as we've had and the assignments. And what I'm going to demonstrate is how to go back and make sure that you have all of your assignments handed in. So right now we're in Ben's, <clears throat> excuse me, account. So what he's going to do is the first question that posted is to describe a little known fact about you that we don't already know. So when you see that post, I want you to um, click on the question mark. Do not type your answer down here. Click on the question mark. It'll take you to it. And up here is where I want you to type your answer and turn in. It will ensure that it goes into the same place as opposed to class comments. Next, in our assignment for today, <clears throat> Click on the green link and it'll bring you to these links and files for you to view. So this side, you're not going to enter anything. So when you click on vocabulary or these other things, you're not going to enter anything here. All of the work you're going to do is over here on the right hand side. So following the order, you have the color fact sheet. So looking at the color fact sheet, you can print it out and do it as we do typically or you can enter the answers into the little boxes. So as it populates, you can um, expand it. And as you are, zoom it in. And you'll note that if you double click right below the math fact, it'll give you a place to type it in. So you can either print it out and do it and just enjoy it, color it in, et cetera, or if you want to enter the responses in the digital document, um, you'll do that and you'll X out. And upon finishing, you will click on the turn in button. What I'm finding is that a lot of students are not clicking on the turn in. And I'm going to show you in my account, um, as you are in your account rather, um, how to make sure you have handed in what you should. So you're going to click on classwork. So here is the stream tab we typically find. And then at the end of the assignment for today, to ensure that you have done what you needed to do, these items will be green if you have incomplete work. So Tuesday's morning video message, there wasn't anything to um, do or submit. But if Ben wants to make all of these go gray to show completion, he can click on it and view the assignment and it's watch the video if you have done that ben can click on as can you mark as done so i'm going to do that for ben so tuesday's morning message was shown as green as still needing some action so ben watched it and he's going to click mark as done yes mark it as done and when he comes back to his classwork, he can see that that Tuesday morning message is now gray. Let's try the Wednesday morning message. Ben, if he has already viewed it, if not, he can watch it and then click mark as done. It'll give you a chance to double check. Yes, are you actually done with it? And you'll note that in classwork, That is now gray. So what Ben has to do is enter his little known fact and then complete today's work. So in today's work, as I mentioned, we'll view it just again. These are the links or documents that don't require nor can you enter any information. These are the assignments on the right hand side. So after Ben looks at all of the vocab slides and completes the two vocabulary assignments, 
as well as the color fact sheet, then he can go in and not only turn those in, but then check to see that it goes gray in classwork tab for completion. So I know that was a lot, but hopefully, um, despite my raspy voice here, you guys can understand what it is you need to do when it comes to ensuring you have things handed in. So hopefully that's helpful. I love you. I miss you. This is Mr. Dudrick, your school dad. Um, peace and love. Out.